Ladies and gentlemen, do you see this? Do you see the vibes right now? Do you see the Gotham screen, ladies and gentlemen? We actually, actually got the Nike Dunks. Not me personally, all right? But my, AKA my father did end up getting them, but you know, tomato, tomato, we in the same breed. So we got them. Unfortunately, not no big size like I do like a lot, but honestly, I am definitely absolutely not complaining about any size right now. We did take a W on a size nine. Basically, it's my account, you know, here and there. You know, that's how it works. You know, tr teamwork makes a dream work. So we did somehow magically cap a W there. So I hope you guys did as well. I know not everyone cap the W. It was probably one of the most hyped dunk releases of this year so far. Uh, not SB included. But today, we're not here to talk about sneakers. We're here to talk about the Supreme. Week 18, Spring Summer 2020 drop list. In this video, we're going to go over the expected retail prices, resale price predictions, along with the full drop list review, what I recommend you go for, most hyped items, and all that other shenanigans. As you guys who know, we do every single week. Now, this week is honestly not packed. It's, it has not a lot of items dropping. Good items, yes. Uh, a lot of items, not so much. As we're getting closer to the end of the season, typically the weeks get drier and drier. Last week is typically not the greatest at all. But... We do have the summer tees, which I love. There's like when I do drop the summer tees, they do like one to two t shirts or bangers, like those are automatic cops. This time I have to say there's about like three or four t-shirts, like definitely four t-shirts on my list that I absolutely, absolutely need. And typically I don't be buying Supreme like that like crazy anymore, but like, you know, these t-shirts are going to have to be, are going to have to be put into my satchel that I, <laughs> that I do have. Uh, in-store release, we are going to be trying to go for the in-store vlog. You know, this is also the first time that we're finally opening up since COVID. Uh, I will be trying to get you guys in-store, but I am also taking summer classes, so we'll have to figure out some magic tricks to, uh, to get you guys some in-store content. Uh, but without further ado, we're going to get into it. I just want you guys to know my three biggest announcements. Announcements. If you want that good luck, that good karma, that good blessing on this Thursday shop, make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below. Hit that red box logo. Hit the red box logo this Thursday. And I appreciate it so much. If you leave a like, a notification bell, whatever you want to do, I really do appreciate it. It does help the algorithm, it does help out the channel a lot. And if you are interested in the premium Discord group that I do on Time Boy TV Plus, uh, fill out the form. A A A A A. Fill out the form. Instagram on our Instagram page in the bio. Uh, you guys will be put on a waiting list, and we've already selected a few people to get uh, invited and all that such. So there you already got set up. We had a movie today we had a lot of good drops and we're hopefully supreme will continue on for us also viewer discretion we are talking about resale prices that does not mean i condone any undercutting goat now accepts uh supreme items StockX accepts supreme items but those are not the two main platforms to go for local sales offer not so much offer up i'd say facebook marketplace for supreme is good grail is very good for supreme and ebay don't sleep on those three platforms please do not need to undercut anywhere but without further ado we're gonna roll right into it and go from least hyped to most hyped and least resell to most resell so first up on the list, we're going to get into the Valora tank top retailing for 68 US dollars, 66, 68 pounds, if I'm not mistaken, I don't know how to read this outside, but this is a cotton blend Valora dropping three different colorways. We got a lemonade, like a pink lemonade looking one, definitely a summer vibe, you know, but it's Valora. I don't think Valora and tank tops really mixed together, but you know, Supreme always got something up their sleeves. Uh, seven, eight dollar retail is an easy pass on my end. Definitely not something I'll be focusing on. You shouldn't either if you're trying to go ahead and flip this one, but remember like these weird low key pieces might be very limited in select sizes and they might, you might be lucky to catch a sale, but it's definitely not a safe bet. Uh, next we go into the nameplate crusher retailing for 54 US dollars, 50 pounds, uh, three to five different, six different colorways. I should say we got an orange cream, looks like an orange pop, uh, a natural, a magenta, a baby to a blue, a black and a green. Not really a fan of this one either, but I am looking forward to the other nameplate, uh, die cap, the actual bank cap that they have coming out later this season. All you have here though, is a golden buckle on the front of it and the colorways are just not my style not a lot of branding won't do well at all i expected to sit on site for quite some time uh, and then moving on to another hat that we have dropping this week is the lenticular visor camp cap retelling for 54 us dollars six different colors we've got an or like a salmon a black a red a white a blue and a navy overall the actual shape of the cap i like i don't like the dome piece dome piece whoa what? Hey, yo. Uh, because it just doesn't look right. It looks like it's a little bit bigger than it usually is. On the curved part, you do have the supper. Oh, and every other colorway is cut off off in the middle it looks like or it's upside down it's underneath it but you guys see on the visor has a big supreme bearing kind of looks cheap to me uh doesn't really look i don't really rock die caps at all uh but it doesn't look like to be the greatest uh design that i've seen from them at all yeah it's just it looks kind of like that plastic material on the cam cap that yeah, doesn't make sense to me but moving on to another brick so far everything bricks uh we have the mcm civ mcm yo hey yo terry short sleeve top if you don't know what terry is terry is that material that feels like uh, a towel very thick 
Don't really recommend it to wear in the summer, although sometimes they may manufacture it the right way where it does kind of feel light. But regardless, Terry is just like one of the heaviest materials out there to put on clothing. And there's four different colorways, a yellow, a purple, a black, and a white. It's Rayon Blend. Terry is the official uh, material that is used. And regardless though, well again, once again, another easy ass pass in my books does have MCM and Roman numerals written all over it. Don't know what MCM XCIV exactly equals, but nonetheless, uh, another easy pass. But now we start heating it up, ladies and gentlemen. From here on out, I think a lot of it's a really good cop. So we're going to get into the 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 rayon shirt, the you know what I'm saying? Uh, retailing for 148 US dollars, 138 pounds. Yes, I know how to probably pronounce it. I just don't feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Two different colors. We've got a multicolor color rayon shirt and a not so multicolor black and white rayon shirt two different colors as i said now rayons lately uh i would say more more or less last season they were bangers right like every single round would hit over 200 dollars 138 dollar retail and bang and hitting over for 200 now it kind of like i don't want to say it died down on the rayon aspect of supreme but i do want to say the hype isn't as there as much as it once was it used to be like every round used to go for money because the rayons are like they're fired don't get me like tony soprano og icon no rocking it freaking uh trailer park boys freaking you know the man you know the man uh icon for wearing rayons all the time i just like rayons a lot i don't wear them too often uh but the thing is with this one specifically i can see doing really really well especially the multi-color one i do expect them to keep them limited they do typically keep rayons limited which also does drive up the uh, actual uh, resale value of it because remember supply and demand whole economic scale 140 dollar retail if i'm not mistaken 148 is pretty expensive for a rayon they did raise them up from last season i think they used to be 138 and I could see Riso going for around maybe 180, 190, uh, but definitely not the. It's kind of like a little bit of a risky, kind of like a low key item, but not really at the same time. Uh, but it's definitely more on the riskier side of things if you're going to go for it. Uh, then we go to the Ichi Killer Long Sleeve T-shirt. This is dropping a multitude of different colorways. As of right now, I don't have all the colorways releasing, uh, but this is having the feature, the number one on the back graphic, Ichi the Killer on the front, Supreme uh, Script logo on the left sleeve. Long sleeves like these don't typically tend to do really, really well. Only short sleeve typically in the summer does well unless it's a nice uh supreme logo on its own like we had a few seasons ago the supreme long sleeve was just like a supreme washed out logo on the center like that does good for example over a hundred dollars guaranteed and their quality on the long sleeves are pretty solid and we're typically only retail for 48 us dollars but since this is a beggar graphic t-shirt it is going to end up retailing for 52 us dollars then the next summer two we go into is the pitbull t-shirt retailing for 38 us dollars uh, as you can see, the main teacher here is in Woodland Camo. Uh, definitely a guaranteed colorway to drop this week. Uh, looks like my man Pippa almost got like, oh no, that's Supreme and like graffiti font under it. It looks kind of basic, nothing too special. Looks like a regular ass graphic t-shirt. Uh, colorway wise though, I would always say for all summer t-shirts, safe bets are black and white. Those are automatic safe bets, but ones that go for the most, sometimes in specific, uh, designs and colorways, the, if they do drop, decide to drop any tie dyes, I can expect a tie dye color to do really well in certain colorways. But market is going to go for the t-shirts. Once people take L's market's going to go up, but remember, Listen, this is the real test. In-store opens up this week. So this is the truth to see who really destroys market out of here. Is it in-store people? Is it freaking online people? Well, online does hold up well until online orders come in. Now, in-store people just take bids up until like at 11, oh, 10, 11, 15, 11, 20. That's when prices go up. And then, but boom, prices go down and then they stay down. I mean, they go up a little bit on like Sunday night, Monday. And then once online orders come in, they start going back down again. And then they brick for eternity. So that's how I see t-shirts going the same way. Uh, Pitbull T, it's honestly, it's not that great. I wouldn't really focus on it if you're going for t-shirts. Then we go into the split T, which will be retailing for 44 US dollars. I think this is a fire t-shirt. I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure each of the killer collaboration was supposed to release last year or earlier this season, or I know they've been in the works for quite some time. On the front though, you can see my man's head got just charaded, charaded down the middle. Uh, you got a Supreme box logo on the bottom left of the graphic, which is a thing I love. That's still be what they used to do on their older designs. The nice like, uh, like JFK tees, for example, is one of my favorite graphics like that, where they have the center, nice rectangle graphic, and then the Supreme box logo right up in it. And then a nice little uh, graphic on the back of it as well. On the back, it says warning contains scenes of an explicit nature, Ichi the killer. In this specific t-shirt, I'll definitely focus on the black colorway, XL typically. I don't see a lot of kids rocking this t-shirt. It's more like an OG classic. Uh, so that's why I always typically focus on bigger sizes for this one. 
Then we go on to the Social Security SSN t-shirt dropping in multiple different, different colorways. Once again, don't have them all, but black is also a very safe bet. I don't see this one re reselling for too, too much. It's a pretty simple one, but I do like the graphic or it's your Social Security card on it. I just say USA 94 2020, USA in the United States of America, 94 the year Supreme was started and 2020 is the year of today. It says politics of usual and it says out of order. That's fire. That's right. If you read closely, it says out of order on the actual signature part of the card. Uh, retail on this t-shirt is gonna be 38 us dollars now ichi the split tea i could see recently going maybe 80 to 75 dollars definitely one of the top tier t-shirts social tea i could see maybe going from 70 to 60 dollars uh, once it stabilizes it's retailing for 38 then we go on to the marble t-shirt probably my least favorite colorway but i could see this color specifically i i feel like they might drop a little tie-dye uh it is a trippy looking graphic i mean i really don't understand it looks just like a a washed out center with multiple different colors and supreme written inside of it uh supreme written in a circle as well on the on top left chest on the front of the graphic on the back you have multicolor swirl with black and green graphic right on top of it retail on this one is going to be 38 us dollars i can see resale potentially uh going to around 70 to 60. this might be like a little bit of the low-key sleeper t-shirts personally myself though i don't like it at all i'm easily passing on it uh, then we go to the Aino Domino T, retailing for 38 US dollars. As you can see, the main one here is pink. And if they do drop t-shirts in pink, especially in a nice, simple graphic like this, go for a size small if you can. I mean, size smalls are extremely, extremely rare. But if you go ahead, if you can cop a size small in this one, I would definitely send it. Uh, definitely does appeal more to the female audience out there. Uh, Resale in a size small pink, I can see maybe going to around 90 to to $100. Remember, if you have a size small pink, you're controlling market. There's barely any other... Uh, so there's any other there's really any other supply out there for this one specifically uh, another lookbook item though we're going to take a pause on the t-shirts we're going to go into the serape the sir sir serap blanket i hope i'm pronouncing that right 108 us dollar retail but it might be justified i see the quality on this towel being very high quality made in hand wove hand woven i love that in tia tx Cala, mexico i apologize if i mispronounced that 82 inches by 62 inches it's an acrylic blend hand woven means it could be very very limited so typically supreme does not make hand made anything most of the time just because it's a big ass company they do have like a decent amount of like they don't have decent amount of stock but they got to make a decent amount of stuff uh so that's why it retails 108 us dollars at the end of the day 98 pounds i could see resale maybe going to try 150 160 dollars oh it's a little bit of a riskier side of things might not sell out right away uh but definitely a decent cop oh uh, then we got to the mesh panel water short retailing for 110 us dollars my favorite water short to release this uh season as a whole few different colorways we got a gray and orange a turquoise a red and a black i'd mainly focus on gray and black uh probably once again the best shorts to come out in a very i mean not a very long time but a decently long time uh, simple mesh lining on the back. Besides of it, it's summertime. I definitely focus on selling it in the summer. I don't see this being a whole good hold piece. Uh, I can see resale. It's retailing for 110. Resale maybe like around 180, 190. Even could reach 200 dollars if you catch a good sale. Uh, my homie just showed me he sold a pair of water shorts for 200 dollars that are still in stock from last week. Just because people sleep, they buy it on StockX instead. Crazy to see that, but you can always, once again, you can always get lucky with a random ass sale. Uh, then we go on to the Supreme Shed Rain Transport Checkerboard Umbrella. Checkerboard is also something that Supreme does use often. Uh, they did it with a hands clap, for example. They did drop a few other lookbook pieces uh, using the checkboard style. Retail at 68 US dollars, 60 pounds. Resale, I can see going around 110, 100 US dollars. So overall, a lot of items having like a good like 20, 30 dollar profit on each piece. Uh, hopefully, market does hold up at the end of the day. At the end of the day, though, it's a 43 inch auto open and closed transparent umbrella. Uh, this has also been hyped, not hyped, but this has been like a sought after, sought after essential piece. Uh, you can't really go wrong with an umbrella at the end of the day. Everyone needs an umbrella most of the time. Uh, I can see Risa once again holding up around 80 to 90 dollars at the end of it. Uh, but once again, if you're gonna cop a piece like this, expect market to get undercut it heavily once on orders do come in. Now, the main two t shirts we're gonna get into right now first of all is a lizard tee retailing for 38 US dollars. I can see Risa easily going for around 100 US dollars just because the fact the graphic is popping. We have a nice lizard there chilling. I love this, especially any reptile fans. I'm sure you do too. Looks like the supreme actual graphic is like a nice cloudy made into made out of vines or turf. Oh, damn. I just thought we got Supreme Selection text. 
We got some freaking my heart job. We got freaking champ sports texting me for some promotion. Anyways, as I was saying, the lizard is chilling there with like a little water spout thing at the bottom of the graphic, uh, th multiple different color rates. And typically the lookbook color rate, which you guys can see here is Navy does do the best. Cause that's what ends up being the most hyped, uh, but could end up changing once other color rates do come out. Retail on this one's 38. Once again, resale around hundred. And last but not least, we finally have the motion logo t-shirt ladies and gentlemen. Now the group, as I say, did have access to this t-shirt very, very early. Just an FYI. Retail is 38 US dollars and 38 pounds. I expect the same colors to happen for this one as a hooded sweatshirt. So that going off it. Black, white, black, uh, black, white, green, um, red, if I'm not mistaken, whatever. Basically, you guys know the main hoodies as a color rate, uh, main colors as the hoodies. Hopefully, I'll put it up here. But main ones I would focus on is black and white. Uh, and that's just to save bet around it. Yellow is looking fire as well, but these are t-shirts, so they'll be a lot easier to move than hoodies. Low S retail. Now, resale wise on this one's $38 retail. I can see maybe going around 160. Hopefully it goes over 200. Like that's what I'm hoping for. But honestly, with the current market, the way Supreme works, I don't see it doing that much. Like older motion logo tees be going like used. They be going for like 120 to 160. Brand new, they go over $200 easy, like 250 just around there on the aftermarket, like on grilled and such. Uh, but this one, hopefully I see it going over 200 but honestly the way i don't have faith in the community as i used to in the resale market uh so i see it being undercut heavily so but either, either way motion logo is the main item to go for then go for the lizard tee then i'd go for the uh classic pink t-shirt that i talked about then i go for the um umbrella maybe if you're feeling it and the che rayon shirt is also fine in my opinion definitely something i'll be picking up so that's it for me thank you all so much for watching hope you guys enjoy please subscribe to the channel as well i really really do appreciate it and other than that though, i'll catch you guys tomorrow with maybe a live cop maybe not a live cop we'll see how time goes and I'll see you guys then. Peace.